This call is being recorded. Feel now the energy that is here. Become one with that energy. And as you do so, become aware of the ocean waves that are coming into the shore. As they come in and then recede out. Come in recede out. Almost as if you are getting in touch with the breathing of Gaia herself as she breathes in and breathes out the ocean, the ebb and flow of the ocean wave. As you become one with those ocean waves, feel one with the consciousness of the water. Notice how the energy here at the water's edge is so much higher. And the feeling that you have as you stand there at the, just at the edge of the ocean with your feet in the sand, but just touching the water's edge as well. How the energy makes you feel. The blissfulness that comes over you as you stand there at the water's edge, taking in the sound, the sight, the smells, the feelings. You may hear seagulls flying overhead. It all is about consciousness, becoming in tune with the consciousness of the water. Consciousness of the sand that your feet are in. Consciousness of the air all around you. Now find yourself floating up above the beach, higher and higher. But as you do, notice the waves still coming in, going out, still coming in, going out and the breathing of Gaia herself and the connection to that breathing as it connects to your breathing. And as you move higher and higher up above the Earth's atmosphere, become aware of all of the ships. You feel the consciousness of the beings that are in the ships. And sometimes even the ships themselves, the consciousness of the ship, of the light being, of the consciousness being. Yes, some physical beings as well. As you're aware of the consciousness of the earth, of Gaia, and the consciousness of the ships, become aware now of the consciousness connection to all of the planets in the solar system. As if, as if there was a web of energy moving through all of the planets, connecting all of the planets in the solar system to all of the ships, to all consciousness as one. Then beyond the sun, out into the galaxy, connection to all of the planets and all of the solar systems of the galaxy and to the central sun of the galaxy itself. And notice that every one of these planets has a being ensouling it. Therefore, consciousness and to the galactic galactic central sun and beyond that, through that galactic central sun as if it were the gateway or a portal through it into all of the galaxies beyond the galaxy, all of the solar systems within all of those galaxies. And finally, you come to the central sun of the universe itself, the source 
of all of this universe. Notice, though, there is universes beyond this. For now, just stay here within this universe, in this oneness, in this source of all things. The connection now to that universal source. Notice the energy here at this universal sun. The breathing of this sun, the breathing that takes thousands of years, thousands of earth years, just for one breath. Notice that the out breath of this universal sun is happening now after many, many thousands of years. The out breath is occurring. The out breath is coming to the earth through all of the planets of the solar systems and all of the galaxies, through the central sun of this galaxy, through the sun, the solar sun of the solar system and all the planets and all the ships coming down to the earth. That out breath, the breath of life, the breath of consciousness, high consciousness, filtered down through all of the preceding planets and galaxies and central sun. Filtered down and down and down until it can be here on the Earth's surface. And all can feel this wave of energy now moving across the planet. Feel it now as it moves across through all life forms. And all life forms are transformed in the moment to higher frequency, higher vibrational consciousness. Take just a moment and realize at a deeper level that this consciousness wave will be all life forms on the planet. You can visualize what will occur as a result of this wave of energy, this tsunami of love, this pulse of oneness. Now understand that you can always return to this feeling, this feeling of oneness. But for now, begin to drift back towards your physical body, allowing your consciousness, your astral or your etheric form to merge back into the physical body, bringing that understanding that feeling of oneness back in with you. Come back now into a complete state of consciousness and circulation, fully revitalized and refreshed. I am Archangel Michael.
has been a bit of time since I have been with you. But of course, we're not measuring these instances by time. We are measuring these instances by vibration and how vibration is shifting and changing across the planet and how the timelines that you have been experiencing for some time now have been merging together until there is but two timelines left. That is not complete yet, but it is coming to that point where there will be two timelines merging together and then splitting off. And they are coming to the point now where they are going to begin to split off. One timeline leading to the higher vibration, the higher dimension. The other timeline leading to remaining in a three-dimensional understanding and frequency, and therefore the continued illusion. And this is what is coming now rapidly, where you are moving, you, those of you that resonate to these words, are moving rapidly into the timeline that is taking you into those higher vibrations. You have all been experiencing more and more a sense of a heightened vibration, a sense of heightened frequency. You have been feeling it in your bodies. You have been feeling it through your central nervous system. You've been feeling it, giving you the understanding and the knowing through those symptoms of ascension that you have been calling this. And yes, they are symptoms of this ascension process. And many of you are being able to handle these energies more and more, which may be the reason why you have not been having many of the symptoms as much lately. Some of you still are, but some of you have not been. And this is going to continue. Those that are having these symptoms, they may continue yet a bit longer, but know that Everything is moving according to the great plan at this time. And those of you that have been acclimating to these energies and continue to do so and continue to move onto this new, this new timeline that is drifting apart from the old one, the old one that you have become accustomed to, that has given you a sense of comfort, a comfort zone that you have held on to because this illusion, this three-dimensional illusion has been somewhat of a comfort zone. Some of you may look at this and hear these words and say, not so comfortable to me, but know that it is something that you have become accustomed to, but you are moving away from this. And you are going to move out of this comfort zone. And as you move out of this comfort zone, change is coming into your lives. And the change is going to increase rapidly throughout all of you. And as this change continues to increase, as these energies continue to multiply, and the waves of energy keep coming in, and they are coming in, and they are going to get stronger and stronger, because those filters that have been being used throughout by those of the, uh, what you would call the ancients that have been holding these energies back are not holding the energies back as much any longer. They are still being filtered, but the filters are being taken away more and more now. And the energies are coming in stronger and they will continue to come in stronger and stronger. And those of you that continue to take these energies in, and I do mean take these energies in, accept them, allow them to come into your central nervous system, allow them to come in through your, your, your meridians in your body to release those energies that have been blocked up within those meridians as if there is a acupuncture or acupressure that is coming in and releasing those energies. See it as this. The energies are being unblocked because they must be. And as these truths are coming forward, it is helping to unblock these energies as well. 
because the truths are coming out and they will continue to come out. Those dominoes that have been spoken of have begun. Not the biggest ones yet, but some small ones have started and they are going to continue and is going to lead to those larger dominoes or as some have called it, the avalanche that is gaining momentum coming down the mountain. All of these visualizations, all of these ways of understanding what is happening, and we can give you different understandings, different uh, visualizations, different pictures to begin to understand this, but none of this will do the the righteousness to all that is coming that will give you the complete understanding, complete picture. Yes, a picture is worth a thousand words and we can give you thousands of words and give you many, many pictures, but nothing is going to come close to what is actually going to occur. So all we can continue to say is continue to be ready. Continue to be ready, continue to take these energies in, continue to work on yourselves at being in the now moment. Because as you continue to be in the now moment, you will find yourself in those higher vibrations and higher frequencies. And as you are in those higher frequencies, you will find that the illnesses, the symptoms, the various things that ail the one that is in the lower vibrations will no longer affect you. Know this. Know the illnesses of the past will be gone. Know that the medical conditions of the past will be gone. The cancers, the, the immune deficiencies, all of these things will be gone as you continue to move into these higher vibrations. So do so in every waking moment. Find yourself in those vibrations. Just simply raise your vibration. You can do it with your mind. You can do it with your visualization ability. Do it more and more. And if it helps to be out in nature, and often it does, then do so. Whatever it is that helps to work for you, do it. Don't delay any longer. Be in those higher vibrations. Be those higher vibrations. I am Archangel Michael, and I leave you now with my sword of truth to continue to hold you steadfast in your journey forward, to continue to allow for this sword of truth to cut through all of the vibrational frequencies that continue to hold you down, those ties, those binds, those psychic ties that continue to hold you back into the third dimensional illusion, which many of you, most of you, have now almost left for good at this point. I leave you now for another to come through your beloved sister, Pleiadian sister Kara, will speak momentarily. And I am Kara. And I enjoy these times where I can be with you and share with you and continue to give you parts of the bigger picture, and I say parts now because we cannot give you the entire picture all at once, but we can give you the parts, the parts that we are playing, the parts that you are playing, and you are all playing your parts to the best of your abilities at this point. So allow for all of this process, this ascension process to continue to move you forward. And if you allow it to move you forward, it will. Continue to find yourself in those higher vibrations as Archangel Michael has given, as much as possible, whenever possible. And know that the energies, as they continue to come in, are leading more and more and more to disclosure. Not only disclosure of those of us, the 
what you call the ETs, but disclosure of all of the truths that are coming forward, because these truths must be revealed. The truth shall indeed set you free. And that was given long ago and has been reiterated many, many times over. And those truths are coming forward now. And bringing those that have been in the shadows for so long, bringing them into the light. And as they find themselves in the light, they cannot handle the light. They cannot handle the truth themselves. Because as they try to understand the truth, it brings them right back into the old illusionary comfort zone that they are used to. And that comfort zone, they will remain in. And that is not something for you to be concerned about. Be only concerned with where you are in this entire process, in, into this entire vibrational lifting up process that you have all moved into. Because as you continue to do so, you will continue to find yourself moving closer and closer to matching those of our vibrations. And as you match our vibration, you will come closer and closer to full contact with us. And that is the process that we are working on now in bringing that contact to you as you bring your contact to us. Be ready. Be ready to open up to the higher vibrations so that you can meet more fully with us in a more physical fashion. Those of you that want to do this, then you can bring this about. Simply create it within your minds Choose it for yourselves, and you will move closer and closer to making that a reality. Those that came in with the contracts to allow this to happen will, of course, bring this about as well. But even those of you that did not create this within your contracts before coming into this lifetime, even those of you now can choose to do so and can bring this about. You can alter the contracts that you came in with as you are ready to do so. And that is what this group and many other groups are working toward now at this point. For we, those of us, all of the civilizations that come from outside of this planet are working toward bringing this contact to you and you to us. All of my peace and love be with all of you as we continue to move closer and closer together. Om Mani Padme Om Ma Om Mani Padme Om Ma Om Ma Om Greetings to you. Greetings. One who serves here and Shoshana is also standing by has just given her. Yes, she has said greetings also. So we are ready to rock and roll, as your saying goes, and move forward here. And we are so looking forward to this next uh, advance that you are going to have here in your next month. We are looking forward to it, many that are looking forward to this. And we can tell you that there are going to be many, many, many bystanders there that are watching the proceedings, there that are participating in the proceedings. You are going to have many visitors, many guests that will be in attendance. They will be all around you and within you. So get ready for those energies because they are going to be monumental. We are ready now for questions here. We know there is one question coming from your email, and we will start with that, okay? Okay. Yes, when he serves. This uh, question came through the email, and here it is. When the event happens, meaning when the large energy wave flows across the earth and the people are knocked down and 
you know, there's a major wave coming through. What is going to happen to those ones who are not stationary, as like those who are driving cars or flying in airplanes? What will occur with those ones? What we can tell you is many of you are watching too many movies. Mm -hmm. Many of you are seeing those things that are being depicted by those that uh, are more bent on that type of scenario in that is that it is going to happen, or they are religiously brought into that understanding that the rapture or something of this nature will occur. And if so, when that happens, it will be instantaneous and people that are flying in planes will disappear from their seats and all of these kinds of things that have been in your various movies. And we can tell you, no, that is not what is in the, uh, in the plan here. That would be something that would not be for a loving uh, source. That would be something that would not be, uh, would be not beneficial to mankind. So do not think in terms of uh, what would happen in that sense, but what would happen over a period of time. It will not be so instantaneous that those that are flying or those that are driving cars will instantaneously disappear. No one is going to disappear. It is not going to be in that respect. You would still be able to do whatever it is that you are doing. And those that would not uh, be uh, in the process of moving forward in the first wave, let us say, they will uh, be moving uh, into higher energies as well in this time, but they will be held back from this. In other words, if there is a pilot flying a plane and this energy comes through and he feels, he or she feels this energy, but they are not ready for this at this time, it will not affect them in that moment, but over a period of moments. In other words, more when they have landed the plane, you see, or that one that is driving when they have stopped their car or whatever it might be. So do not think in terms of catastrophic events here. Think in terms of spiritual events that would happen. Okay, Shoshana? Yeah, we agree with you completely, and so we wish not to contribute anything to this. Very good. And we are finished with this question. We move on to, are there any other questions here? Hi, this is Marilou. Um, yes. I just uh, uh, want to uh, get clarification. Oh my gosh, I'm losing losing my voice. <clears throat> but I want to get clarification of uh, what we uh, spoke of, as a matter of fact, uh, in this uh, class uh, about uh, uh, being a wizard, and I was I was told to find out uh, who I was as a wizard. And the first thing that came to me was the name begins with an M because th that's my initial, M-M. And um, so I thought those I could think of, but the name of the wizard <laughs> that I tuned to does begin with an M, and I'm wondering if that's correct. As always, as we entertain these types of questions, we would ask you to look back at yourself here and know that as you are coming to these understandings, because you are moving into those higher vibrations, these understandings are coming to you more and more. And as they come to you, it is as a, an intuition, an inner knowing that is coming. And this is certainly uh, bringing you in on the right track. As you listen to those whispers within, that is what is important here, as it comes from the heart center. 
So as it does so, your higher self is speaking to you and giving you a remembrance here as we find it. And this is uh, exactly what it needs to be at this time. It does not need our, ourselves or anyone else to confirm for you because you have already done so as you are asking this question. Okay? Oh. Okay. We do wish to share. Thank you. May, may we share sure. our perspective with you? Thank you. Do yes. We, do we, we, can we go forward? Yes, please. The idea of wizard is an archetype that is with all of you. There are many famous wizards that brought forward the energy of wizardry into the culture and taught many how to use this magical power. One most famous wizard was known as Merlin, and everyone knows Merlin. Everyone has heard of Merlin because he is the archetype of wizardry. What we will tell you is that it does not matter what your name is. It does not matter what you call yourself. That is a human idea that you must have a name. What is more important is that you practice the art of wizardry in a white fashion, in a loving fashion, to heal others and to uplift all. That is what we have for you. Namaste. Thank you very much. Very good. And we add here that uh, understand that all is vibration and consciousness. And within that vibration and consciousness, you have been uh, in Lemuria, you have been in Atlantis and other civilizations here on this planet, not speaking of anything beyond this at this point, but here on this planet. And at those times, you, are in, you were in those higher vibrations into fourth, high fourth dimension and fifth dimension and sometimes even higher than this. And in those instances, you had access to these wizardry arts. You knew of magic, magic with a K, not with a C as you know it now. So uh, this was uh, something that many of you experienced before and are moving in this direction again. So as you move into these, continue to move into these higher vibrations and therefore higher consciousness, you will have access again to these wizardry arts. Okay? We move on now with next question, if there is one. Thank you very much. Hello, dear brother. This is Lorelai, a brother and sister. <laughs> um, yes, we were talking about uh, dreams today, and it, I remember that um, throughout my life, there's been times when I would be coming back from a dream and I literally cannot move my physical body. And it's like, I will sit there and think, okay, uh, you know, try to think, try to make it move, try to force it to move. So it used to panic me a little bit when I was younger. And then it takes maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And finally I will gradually regain the ability to move the physical body. And as we were talking about dreams, it occurred to me, and I wondered if this had anything to do with perhaps where I was traveling in my dream state or how deep I was in my dream state. Um, is that at all related in any way? Can you say more about that? Very much so. And we would say in that particular instance, you were in high uh, gamma state and even beyond that in many respects. And your uh, consciousness had not completely come back to your physical body here. So you were way out, you might say. And as you come back, you become aware of your physical body again, but yet you, you are still out there, so to speak. And you have not fully merged back in. It's very similar to when you are working with the astral world here and you are astral traveling 
and you come back into your body, but you do not fully bring yourself back in. And you are partially out and partially in. And that can bring about a sense of dizziness or other types of symptoms until you have fully merged back in, you see? Shoshana, we know you yes, want to Yes, we have here. something to share here. May yeah. we share our perspective with you, sister? For sure. What we would tell you, and all that One Who Serves has given is uh, is absolutely the story behind what was happening to you. What it is is it's exciting to know that you have traveled so deeply and so far and have accessed some other dimensions that it takes a while to merge back into the physical body. So this is a good thing. This is a fun thing. What is wrong with this is that the culture that you live in has named this something negative. The culture that you live in has named this that you experience a thing called sleep paralysis, which is very far from the truth. It is simply the idea that the conscious mind that operates within the waking state has been put to sleep and is waking up slowly to merge back in with the physical waking state body to pursue activities in the physical. So this is very normal. And if you experience this again, relish in it. Know that you have accessed parts of yourself, yourself that are deeply not available in the waking state, and this is an exciting thing. Namaste. Wow, thank you, thank you. That's great. Very good. We move to the next question, if there is one. This is Claudia. I have a question also yeah. relating to dreams. And the dream state I was just in since the meditation. It's happened to me a lot in the past. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and often it does. I mean, I do my dispenser meditations or so. It does not happen much. But today, um, the moment uh, James started to guide me the meditation, I'm out. And then I come back at some point, and I'm trying really hard to stay awake and aware, and and um, and uh, I go in and out constantly. What the heck is it? It is very simple. You are moving into a higher frequency state, into a higher brain state, as we just said here. And your conscious knowing self is not available to you for a brief period of time. Even though you might catch uh, uh, little phrases here or there or something, you are largely out of the picture. Uh, largely, you have left the building at that point. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly and how it you but I don't want to miss in, anything. And you come back in at a certain point, and then you are back. It is that simple, almost as if you are moving through the dream state at that point. But you are simply moving into higher brainwave states. It is nothing to be concerned about. In fact, it is something that is quite wonderful because you are moving deeply into those states and in those states, you actually accumulate a great deal more than you can possibly imagine. So even though you are not consciously hearing what we are saying or others are saying, you are still getting it at some level here. Okay, Shoshana? Yes, we can share on this if you wish us to share our perspective. Please, sister. What we would tell you, dear goddess, is that all that has been given by one who serves is extremely accurate, and you must listen to this, as what we know of you is that you will tend to potentially analyze with your conscious mind what is being said. Your higher self 
And we apologize for giving you this so directly, but your higher self prefers that you set your conscious waking mind aside so that that which is given is assimilated at a higher dimensional level where you go. You still benefit, no, you benefit more from being aside, from your conscious mind being aside then you would benefit if you could hear the words in a waking state. So this is a good thing. We hope we have helped and clarify, although yeah. we are just regurgitating what one who serves said. Namaste, dear sister. And Thank you. Would Namaste. Add, we would add here that in this state that the James is in and the, the Joanna here with Shoshana is in, is uh, similar in some respects, although they can hear what is being said here. They do not necessarily remember it, but they are in a place where they can remember it at deeper levels. In other words, it is getting into them. They are receiving it, and it comes back uh, possibly at a later time as to the relevance to what was given in that moment. Okay? We move on now with the yes, next question. You. Is there another question? Very good questions, by the way. So enjoy these uh, higher vibrational questions that have been coming in in these last uh, months here, we would say. Anything else? That scared people off. <laughs> I have one question now that we are all speaking about dreams. When sometimes when I wake up, I don't feel like I'm really awake and it takes me a while to adjust myself. Is there something that I can do in order to come back completely? Because I feel like if I have a part somewhere else and a part in this dimension, this is what we were speaking of earlier in terms of being far out there and not fully coming back in, not fully merging with it back in your consciousness into your physical body. Nothing to be concerned about. Just let it be. And notice, though, as, and this is for all of you now, notice as you continue to move into these higher vibrations more and more, out of the third dimension, and as you heard from Sananda uh, last week, you are largely out of the third dimension. You may not think so. You may think this is the same old, same old, but you are not. You are largely in the fourth dimension now, more and more and more. And you, in these uh, higher vibrations, you are going to find that your dream state is becoming is going to become more and more vivid over a period of time as the vibrations continue to increase. So get ready. Your dream state is going to become vivid. Your waking state is also going to become quite vivid. This is where we have said previously where the veil is going to be thinning more and more and you are going to be able to see through it things that uh, before you might have called going bump in the night. But uh, you do not have to be concerned about this because you are just simply going to be able to see into other dimensions. And as you continue to ready yourselves for this, you will be prepared for it to be able to understand what is happening here. Okay. One who, so, one who serves. Here. We, we, have, we, we have a perspective to share with you, dear sister. May we share? Yes, please. We heard you say that if there's something that you could do, that would quicken the process of coming back and merging into your physical body. What we must tell you here is you must not rush the process. 
you must not ask for a quickening here as what is happening in this in-between time is processing time. It, you are processing all that has been given to you outside of your waking state to bring back to your waking state. So what is required here is a patience to allow the processing to occur and actually even relish in it and enjoy it rather than ask for it to become quicker. Does that make sense to you, dear sister? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. The only hard part is when I have a meeting to attend on something related to my 3D work and I am not able to catch up a word because it's really I, I simply can. I even feel weird, out of place. So, but I understand. I understand yes, and we and we understand your concern. You must perhaps give yourself a later meeting time so that you can process. <laughs> yes, I was thinking about that. Thank yes, you very that is much. Yes, the perfect solution. Namaste, dear sister. <laughs> Namaste. Very good. Are there any other further questions before we release channel? One who serves us is Gina. Yes. Hi. Um, right before you said uh, things that go bump in the night, I just uttered those words right before you said it, like sec one second before. It was crazy. Anyway, it made me laugh. I was like, oh, my goodness. Well, here's the experiences that I've been going through recently. Um, when I look around my space, when I'm out outdoors in the dark, um, I see a lot of things happening. So there's a lot of movement, shadows, things flying past me, you know, up in the sky or close by. Sometimes if I just focus in my closer vicinity, I see a lot of things. So, and a lot of times I'm looking at the stars or for ships or something, so I'm out further. But I've noticed that when I bring in my perception or my, my focus of, of my vision to a, a certain area, I see more things in those areas, like parallel something. I see things come in and out and, and just crazy, crazy. It's wild, and I love it. I just absolutely love it. But, um, yeah, a lot of things. But here's one thing that has come past me twice now, and it's a, a white object, very luminous white. It's not a bird, uh, but it's big. It's big like a bird. It's not a ship either. And... Um, and it's just going by, not too high, just like a bird would be at a, at a you know little high distance, but not too high. But it's it's big and it's moving just very uh, kind of quick, but but uh, almost like a bird. But it's not a bird. I don't see the flapping or nothing like that. Twice now. Now when I saw it the second time, it was quicker, smaller, but the same thing. So any ideas what that could be? Can can we be very uh, what you call Correct. frank with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know when we have said previously that some of you would uh, literally be seeing dead people? <laughs> yes. Seeing beyond <laughs> the veil, seeing beyond into other dimensions. This is right. what we were talking about, and oh. you specifically are oh. being prepared for this process. You ah, there we go. prepared yeah. for this, you, you set this into your contract that you would be one that would move ahead of others, not everyone, but others, that, and you would be in a position where you would be taking these energies in and working with them and then be able to open up those portals that, that take you into those higher uh higher frequencies and therefore through the veil and into uh, that dimension where those that have passed over are waiting. And you will be able to see through that not too far off as we find it. You are moving uh, quite rapidly in that direction here. So be ready for it. You're going to be yeah. seeing shadows at first, but they will begin to take more and more form as you continue to allow the process. And we say very importantly, allow the process. Allow because if you do not allow it, if you attempt to stop it, you will stop it. 
okay? Right. It is up to yep. you if you want to continue in this direction. But get ready because yeah. there will uh-huh. be those things which in the beginning will uh, make you startled, we will say here. and They uh, have already. <laughs> it will take some learning and working through this as you are ready for it. Uh, Shoshana? We have, we have something specific to share with you if you wish. Our dear sister, do you wish for our information? I do. We must tell you that there are two individuals that lived in the third dimensional bodies that have passed over into other realms that you knew, that you knew at a very... Not intimate meaning sexual, but at a level, a deep level, there are two. And we will tell you, you know who we speak of because you have dreamt of these individuals, meeting them again, and perhaps... The lights that you are seeing are their lights connecting back with you at a light spiritual level. Does this make sense, dear sister? Um, okay, these were individuals that were walking the earth with me. Now they have crossed over. Is that what you mean? Or is it something yes. from another lifetime? Oh, no, just recently. No, this is now. This is now. Mm-hmm. Do you okay, know of, yep. of what we speak? I kind of. I'm I'm still a little confused. I've had uh, a few f- friends and a relative cross over, and I wanted them to work with me in the healing of, of Gaia and humanity, but they crossed over before this could happen. So my heart is so connected with them. Yes, but we are saying that, we are saying that they do not have to be in physical bodies to work with you. Right, right. You see? So you must put that together as as the puzzle pieces have been given to you. You can now put that together. All right. There you go. And we potentially give you another puzzle piece here. Are you attending in person the advance? I am not. I am not. And I haven't even confirmed the phone, but I will be on the phone. Situations around me, my sister. So I need to stay open. And it's somewhat unfortunate that you cannot be there in person, but even if you are there on the phone calls, you will be able to participate in the manifestation process that is being planned here and that you will could can be an integral part of this manifestation process for the others uh, as you will become aware of much that some others may not be aware of. Very good. Thank you. Very good. I put it in God's hands. Are there hands. any I put other questions hands. here now before we release John? Nothing further? There is one more. Yeah. Yeah. For the one who says, and Shoshana, um, I don't have a question. What I need to say is um, I just want to pour gratitude and love to you as our ascended hosts and masters that have been guiding us on this journey. It has been really eye-opening, and the way you encourage us is amazing. So yeah, I'm a little nervous saying this, but I really personally appreciate you and I'm just as all of us as a group appreciate you. Thank you to our leaders, beloved Fernanda, or St. Germain, Archangel Michael, and all the others that we don't see, Kara, that we're getting to meet now. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and lots of love and blessings to you. That's what I have to say. And- we all say to you, right back at you. <laughs> Love you. 
May we share? Yes, please do. May we share our dear sister, Harriet? Yes. You have guided us as well. We 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 must understand that all is one and the process takes place because it is allowed to take place and those that join on this journey with us have been guides for us as well, allowing us to expand our understanding as well. So we feel your heart. We feel your love. We feel the tears in this one's eyes as you speak. We will tell you we love you and we love all that have joined on this journey and beyond and appreciate all of you, and there are no words that can really give the expansion of our appreciation. Namaste. Thank you. We love you all. Wonderful. Are there any further questions now? I have a question. Yes. Um, I don't usually ask personal questions, but the one about three or four or a couple weeks ago, uh, I had this tune, like a musical tune, come into my mind. And it was not just uh, hallucination. So I went, it happened in the afternoon, so I went to my piano and I sat down And I played that whole tune with both hands, and just like I was channeling it through. And then it came to me, it possibly, I had played that or heard that tune in one of my lifetimes. And I'm wondering how that could happen so quickly and so easy. We want you to to picture something here, dear Rita. We want okay. you to picture yourself on the New Jerusalem and sitting at a piano that is there, certainly. And if it is not there, it can always be created any time you want, any time you want. And you are sitting there and you are playing this tune and many others as well. And this is now coming back to you. Wow. You have played this before. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that makes me so happy. Thank so, Shani, do you wish to add anything here? We we uh, believe, dear sister, that one who serves has given you a perspective on this, but we have another one to share. May we share with you? You may, please. Our dear sister... There are many, many brilliant musicians that live beyond the 3D realm that enter the consciousness of individuals that accept this this nudge, this help, and they compose with you as you are one with them. We will tell you that we have seen this demonstrated many times. There is never a musician that is alone. There are many joining in in great joy and great love because music is the voice of the spheres, is the voice of angels. It is a very high vibration. And you partake of this with those that wish to join with you. And this is not saying that this is not your orchestration, that this is not your composition. We would tell you that you are favored. You are favored by these, such as Bach, such as those types, and they join with you in praise and love for the source. Namaste. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much.
We add one more thing here. You can see this as somewhat of an energetic connection between you and those on the New Jerusalem, connecting like, like a, an umbilical cord or something of this nature, connecting this and bringing these memories and these understandings back to you here. Okay? We need to... We, would, we, we must yeah. add one more thing. Our dear <laughs> sister Rita, we must yes. add one more thing and understanding that these great composers that have tested the ages and have come through no matter how many years ago they composed are from many different galaxies and planets and they embodied the three D bodies to bring this composition to humanity at this level. So when one who serves is speaking of the New Jerusalem, the composers that we speak of, the great ones, have also been on that ship. Wow. Namaste. Wow. Wow. Well, this song is, uh, you know, like greeting cards, and you open a greeting card and a tune plays. Well, the book yeah. that I'm writing is when you open this book, this tune will be played, and it will Ooh. be played by me in a grand piano somewhere. And so that right. was not just a, a coincidence. I, I do believe that now. Thank you yeah. so much, both of you. Thank you. Yes. Namaste. Probably received a little more than you might have thought you would have from us. <laughs> yes. Thank sometimes, you. Can I, can I ask? Sometimes uh, other things, other levels of consciousness are awakened by your questions. Mm -hmm. Can I ask one little thing? We take one more question and then we need to release John. Uh, thank you. Um, over my lifetime, I've had uh, a series of different dreams that, that you know, stand out. As, and one of them was that flying dream that I told, talked about earlier. But then, then there was this dream that I've been trying to get back to, and I, I want to get back to the future because uh, I, was, I was playing the piano like, just like Elton John does and was singing this song that was so cool. I knew it was my song, and I've, I've never, I've heard it in that dream, and I've never been able to get back to it, but I know that I will in the future, and it was such a cool song. I, I Anyway, it's one of those dreams that has stood out in, in my life, and I'm a, I'm a flautist now, but I, but I, this was a piano, and I was singing just like Elton John type stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to know if you could say anything about that. So you are wanting confirmation about your dream and the connection that is to you? Is this what, what you are saying? Yes, on that particular dream uh, when I was playing the piano like Elton John does. It, 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 it's something that's been with me for a long time, and I, I want to get back to it. And I, I don't know if that's a parallel reality or if that's my higher self, or I'm not sure what. This is what we would say here that Shoshana was speaking about here in terms of other composers, other musicians that are connected to you in various ways. Maybe not so much uh, that you uh, have the, the musical ability that you had in other times previously. You may have some, but you don't have the, the full musical ability. You did not bring that in with you, or it was not important for you in this lifetime directly. But uh, it, it is there. It is there within your past life connections as we find it, and it is there to connect to those previous composers and musicians that uh, have that connection with you. Shoshana, anything yes. to add? Yes, dear brother, we have something to share with you. May we share? Oh, absolutely. Dear brother, yeah. that which you observed and, and we do not wish to contradict anything that has been said, but that which you observed was and is a lifetime that you lived. And that which you observed is within your character.
character in this lifetime to pursue. We would tell you from what we know of you that if you wished to play the piano, it would be simple for you. You could study it and within a few months, you would be playing. We know this of you. We know your musical clarity. We know your musical ability. And we know that it is within you if you wished to do it. You have multiple interests on this plane of existence. You have many, many interests. So you may not wish to take the time to pursue this, but it is within your ability to do so if you wish. That is what we have to share with you. Namaste. Oh, thank you so much, both of you. Yes. Very good. Uh, Shoshana, do you have any final message to give before we do and release Chana? We do not have a specific message, message for all that are listening, but we would tell you that you are all, and we have said this before, we feel like we are repeating ourselves, you are all on the right track. You are all moving forward with lightning speed to your destinies of higher dimensional awareness and higher frequencies with everything you are doing and speaking about. You are on the right track. What we would tell you is to continue to focus your conscious minds on this track of ascension, and you will soon experience it. Namaste. Very good. And we end with this, that as you continue on here through this ascension process, through this transition that is now occurring, you are going to continue to... Uh, Take these energies in and work with them and raise your vibrations. And as you do so, you are moving yourselves, and this is important, moving yourselves as a collective consciousness closer and closer to the event and previous to the event to the many, many events that are in process now to the many dominoes that are going to continue to fall, the truths that are coming forward, and full disclosure that is uh, somewhat on your doorstep now. Shanti, peace be with you. <laughs>